but let's grab it right there. It does come in that case, which is nice. I mean, a lot of these, you know, paintball masks you're spending a little bit of money on and they don't even come with these cases. Although it's becoming more of a thing, right? And we're definitely seeing some of the manufacturers uh, start to ship with these cases. But let's do this. We're gonna switch to the top down camera. Hopefully that goes all smooth. Okay, we're just gonna open this up. So yeah, like I said, this case, you do get this center pouch. We've kind of seen that center pouch become, I don't know, we'll say kind of common with a lot of the, you know, cases out there. Exult probably started that, but you're seeing it now in the HK case. And the infamous one, I believe. I could be totally blank blanking on that. Microfiber, and then that little storage pouch. That's all that really is, is a storage pouch. Uh, and then there's that, you know, mesh there. The ultimate rental. Thank you for the super chats, guys. It has been a long time. Hopefully I keep these a little more consistent. I say that all the time though. Anyway, inside there, you're gonna get that little pouch. That's just good for maybe, I don't know, keeping that microfiber. You could put some other stuff in there if you want, you know, maybe a camera. I do keep my GoPro in that little thing because I use it on my mask, so it's kind of convenient. Okay, so in these, this is the pro version of this mask. So there are gonna be, we'll say two different versions, right? There's going to be a standard version and the pro version. This is gonna be that higher end pro version. So it's gonna come with a few other like little differences over below the standard one. Uh, and I'll kind of like touch on those throughout that. That's kind of why I brought that up because it is gonna come with two lenses. This right here is gonna be their mirrored lens that they come with. We can, I don't know, just take this out of here. I take these mirrored lenses off for like filming these masks because it's kind of hard to just film the mirror. It doesn't look right and it looks kind of weird always in video. So I much prefer like solid color, like smoke or clear lenses, something like that. But they are gonna come with two lenses. So you definitely get, you can kind of see that red mirror finish. It's not a super dark lens. Well, they're kind of just tinted, but you do get two lenses and that little pouchy deal for your backup lens. And then also inside of here, well, I don't know, actually, we'll just take, yeah, we'll take that out and then we'll talk about those things. So also in there, you can kind of see there's another pouch sort of right in there. You get visor. We will talk about that visor. And then also there is whoop, there, we're gonna call storm kit or storm foam or something like that, but a different set of foam. And then there it is, there's that mask. So this case, I kind of like too. I mean, you notice this case is kind of thick. It's got a little bit of pad to it. It's definitely not super solid though. I mean, you can definitely still kind of like, you know, crush the thing. Uh, but it's definitely made well. It had kind of that same build quality that we're seeing from, I'd say the carbon gear bags. It kind of feels similar uh, also to that infamous stuff in a way, a little bit. Let's put that down there. So there is that thing, the Carbon Zero Pro. Uh, so like I said, there are two different versions of this. There's this Pro version. Uh, the Pro version, we're gonna try to zoom in maybe a little bit, it might be shaky for a moment. Hopefully that well, it'll, it'll stop shaking. But yeah, this is the pro version. Uh, so that pro version uh, is gonna have two things different, right? It's gonna have a softer bottom, comes with that second lens. Uh, and then I might be missing something. I think that's all. I think it's just the softer version uh, and the second lens, I could be wrong. I don't know. You want to stay tuned. I'll actually put a review of this mask on the channel next week where I will certainly know all the differences. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to, I don't like that zoomed in so much. What was it say? So yeah, the softer version, this is that pro. It's going to have that really like cushy bottom. Uh, if anyone's familiar with, we'll say like the Bunker King Command mask, it's going to feel really similar to the command. I mean, the rubber feels the same. It's about the same thickness. The squishiness is about the same. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think that the big takeaway or the big like objective, it seems like with this mask was not 
anything other than maybe make it as breathable as possible. I mean, some of the ventilation on this is huge, right? I mean, look at just all the ventilation in the front. One of the things I noticed when I was looking at this too is the big holes in the side, right? You can see it might be a little hard, but there's those big vent holes too on the side, which is interesting. Something we don't normally see in masks. Also, it might be hard to pick up, but you can kind of see... Well, actually, hold on. I'm off. You can kind of see right there those, like, holes or whatever. That's on the inside of the goggle frame. So there's actually ventilation through the whole bottom of this into the goggle frame, uh, which is interesting. I mean, I don't know. I think that uh, for the most part, a lot of these masks, like this carbon mask, that are going to, you know, breathe well, that have tons of ventilation like this, uh, and have a thermal lens, don't really have a lot of fogging issues. So I don't necessarily know if, you know, making those vent holes in that goggle frame are actually going to make all that much of a difference. Let's put it on. Bretanian? I don't know what, I don't know how to, Bretonania? I can't I don't know how to pronounce that. I appreciate that 999 super chat though. What did you say? Why do you think the paintball mask manufacturers besides JT have made masks with such poor ventilation. Why not make face mask screens that are breathable? Uh, well, there's kind of two things I noticed about this too, right? Well, I can kind of talk about that. Um, let me see though, I put this, I'll, I'll answer that in a second here. Let me talk about this really fast. Just thinking about breathability. And I would say that these are extremely breathable. I don't want to say it's probably not the most breathable mask right now, but I don't know. I, I want to put on some other masks and kind of try them back to back to see like, you know, what they breathability is like back to back. I think that's best for me, at least, to figure out ventilation. Uh, so I think that Brett wanted to know why manufacturers don't really make the masks as breathable, right? Uh, why don't they just make them like face screens, maybe like the mesh sort of like where you see in Airsoft? Um, well, I think that they kind of like with this with this mask, I think that's what they sort of did, right? I mean, we can see like all the ventilation on the front of there, right? It's kind of hard to we're not focusing. I mean, obviously there's a heap load of ventilation on that, right? But one of the things that people complain about with masks like that that have that you know similar JT Proflex uh, style bottom that just have pretty large ventilation holes a lot of people I mean maybe not a lot but like a portion of people complain about getting shot in here and like paint getting in their mouth and like you know I got a little shell in my mouth and like people complain about that stuff they really do. I mean, it's a small percentage of people, but it does happen. So I think with this mask, they tried to make, you know, that ventilation uh, as good as possible and just get tons of ventilation, but maybe try to keep those holes a little smaller to not let maybe as much paint through or to maybe stop a little bit more of that shell. Maybe with this thing, I think that the main reason we're not using, um, mesh masks is because of that reason, right? I mean, you really don't want to get shot in the face and like literally all the paint go in. Cause I mean, if it's just mesh, you know, say you use like titanium mesh or something like that, that's really hard and can take the impact. I don't want to get like all the paint in my mouth, you know, like I want a little bit of protection. Uh, and I think that, you know, these rubber masks and plastic is just safer, right? I think for paintball to be able to take the impact, like if it was uh, like a wire mesh, to be able to take that impact has to be like super strong. And maybe running around with like a metal cage on your face <laughs> might not be you know, the safest thing. I don't know. We're gonna go back to this thing though. So switching to that top-down camera, I also wanted to, oh, we, we, super zoomed in that thing. Uh, I also wanted to say that this does have that new magnetic chin strap that we're kind of seeing on most of the high-end masks. You know, you kind of just, boop, it's magnetic. 
So this whole system right here, what this is, is their storm foam. So let's say that, you know, it's super rainy out. What you could do is remove that top foam system or that top piece of foam. Uh, you replace it with that. And then now you have solid, no ventilation on top, hopefully to try to prevent rain from getting in there and the lens fogging and all that stuff. I think that's probably why they put some of that ventilation there on the bottom. So if you're going to use that rain unit or storm foam, it might be still a little bit more breathable as you get a little bit of ventilation in the bottom. My guess. And this also, you can kind of see, has some magnets right there. This visor actually kind of like just clips on with magnets. It uh, doesn't stay on very well, though. <laughs> like it just kind of... You know, it just kind of pops off really easily though. So I don't know about that whole magnet system. And then that thing comes off for a, f I haven't seen it actually yet, but they're going to have a fan kit you can actually put in there too. So you could have like fan visor and kind of a cool setup. Some of the other manufacturers like Virtue also, I think might still make their fan. I'm not hundred percent positive if they're even making a fan anymore, uh, mainly because it's just so loud. I mean, to be able to or to be able to move enough air, I think, effectively to clear that lens of you know, moisture and stuff, you kind of have to get a fan that's either really big, you know, you can't put a fan on your mask like this, or you get really small fans, but those really small fans are so loud. They're just like, ah, it's just craziness, so. It's very hard. So I don't know, I, what else about this thing? I think those are like my sort of initial thoughts on the Carbon Zero Pro. I did say there were two different versions of this. There was the Pro version and the standard version. What I totally neglected to mention is there's actually a larger version of this as well. So they make this in standard size or whatever this size is. Uh, and then they make it in big size. Let's see. Where did I put my keyboard? Let's go. Let's see if I can. I made this thing on like uh, on Instagram the other day. And I'm definitely, oh gosh. I'm having so much problems right now to find my Instagram page. The craziest thing ever. Uh, yeah, so on Instagram, like last week, I actually put this up. This is, you know, Instagram. If you're not using it on a phone, it looks like this, guys. <laughs> oh, I gotta log in. What kind of shit's that? There we go. This kind of demonstrates, uh, we'll say that smaller, the smaller size morphing in to uh, the larger size. So it's a bit larger. I mean, you can see that the whole bottom chin area really kind of, I mean, the whole chin and this lower get about an, I don't know, half an inch to an inch longer, maybe a little bit lower down here at the chin. And it also is coming with a larger goggle strap. So you can actually see how it gets a little bigger out the back too. It's not just on the sides and the front. So the whole mask kind of gets a little longer and it's coming with that goggle strap. It's actually two inches rather than the inch and a half the standard one comes with. So it's cool. I mean, one of the things that we kind of like noticed the other day uh, was there's a lot of good masks out now, right? I mean, you got a lot of good stuff. I mean, at this point, Dyer offering two good masks. You get the i4, you got an i5. You got this carbon thing. You have Push with the Unite. HK's new mask, the SLR is really good. I really like that Bunker King Command. There's a ton of good mask options out there. 